Hello my dear students, your teacher is here, back with another lesson and this one is a quick one related to the upcoming St. Valentine's Day so sit back, relax and enjoy! St. Valentine's Day is about falling in love or being in love and Seriously Cool Monster and Ron Klein 50 both went even further and used the phrase head over heels in love which really conjures up an image of really being in love your head flipping over your heels and you don't really know which way is up like... Wait a minute your head is always Oh, your heels. What's going on here? Hot for Words decided to investigate. As it turns out, the expression has been around since the 1300s, but it was not head over heels. It was heels over head. Like that. Yep. From a poem written then. He, Jonas, I heal or head or all heels overhead. But around the 18th century, writers for some reason flipped the same around to head over heels. I guess not thinking what they were writing. Even the famous Davy Crockett was an early adopter of the new phrase, and to this day, the mistakes carried over to the mainstream. And the phrase is now head over heels which really doesn't make any sense since your head is always over your heels, right? So I guess you could say that the phrase itself became so heels over head and head over heels that it doesn't really know which way is up. There you go. Another mystery solved by your trusty hat for words. For your homework, can you think of any other phrases that on the surface sound right but when you really look at them don't really make sense if you know the answer please write it in the comments below also i'd like you to rate my video so i know how i'm doing with my words and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already oh also if you'd like to receive valentine's cards from your teacher you can go to my website hatsforwords.com Sign up and then check your email for cards from me. Bye bye. And the phrase is now he. He. Oh my. Heels. Ha. Also, if you'd like to receive Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> it's February.